Hey everybody, it's your girl Tower Crush back with another review. And this time it is for Mary to Medicine. If you would hit my subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you. Okay, so this episode was pretty good. We did get to see uh Dr. Simone and her son um speaking and conversing and I don't know, laying it out because he's about to go to college and she's feeling some type of way. Of course, her older son is on a one year, on a gap year with um, his college education. He's just working full time. So the little one is going away to college in Cleveland and he's going to be playing basketball. And Simone wanted to do another parents versus kids basketball game, which was cute and cute and cute and cute some more. So um, I think they cheated, but the adults won. I don't really think the kids lost. They was killing them and then heavily went over there and started changing the score and whatnot. So that was a cute little game. And he did make his mother aware that he felt like Dr. Jackie needed to be invited because he didn't appreciate her not being at the graduation. See, that's when when grown folks, you know, do stuff to make them feel better and don't consider everybody else that's involved. Because if he wanted her there, she should have absolutely been there. But that's why under the bridge, she did at least invite her to the basketball game and Curtis did show up in her place. So that was a good thing. Um, Heavenly and these receipts, like, honey. First of all, I remember Toya saying that Heavenly's house was little and that's why it was paid off. Uh, that's a lie. She got a whole basketball court. She got a big old pretty house. Big pretty house. Um, and then Toya tried to say she stole her ideas. I don't know, possibly with the closet. Yeah, but they said she said the fire pit was been there for 20 years, so... I don't know what she meant by she was still in her. I don't know. But apparently, Toya is, I mean, we already know she's superficial. Like anybody that brings up how much their outfit costs in an argument is superficial. Like if you think that that's important, you're superficial. Um, but Heavenly brought up the fact that Quato heard that Toya took out a $100,000 loan to be able to build their swimming pool. That is in addition to the to, to to the original loan that they needed for the house. So that seems a little bit like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. And my whole thing is, if y'all just recently, over the last few years, got over bankruptcy, why are you going so hard to try to make the world feel like y'all got it? Like, um, rich people genuinely, generally do not spend $350 on a workout outfit. That's not what rich people do, uh, for the most part. They don't put their money into fashion like that. I mean, I'm sure they have some fashion, but not the way we like to throw fashion out there. Like, we like to throw, you know, labels and whatnot. And Anila, like, really trying to come for, like, when she had a meeting with Contessa, I thought that was kind of weird. Like, she really thought she was going to check her about the way she handled her mother. No, honey. You lucky I ain't push your mama down. Because where we come from, you keep your hands to yourself. And she was just like, yeah, see how cultures, see how the cultures work? Yeah. So when somebody tells you to stop touching me in America, you should know, stop touching that person. Like, that could literally lead to you being knocked out. Period. And to find out that Contessa and her husband ain't having the, the best time in their marriage is really hurting my feelings. I really like them. I really want them to make it. But it looks like they may or may not. I don't know. But let's get back to Toya and Anila. Okay, so Anila was basically trying to tell Heavenly about her experiences with racism. And I just, I really don't like that. Like, black people, nobody, you can't, anywhere across the world, black people are frowned upon. You can never compete with that, baby. I understand you have probably gone through some things, just like Asian Americans go through things. Or, you know, Russian Americans may go, I don't know what they go through, but they may go through things, but it's it'll never be like it is for black people. So don't ever, ever try to bring in your misconceptions or your, you know, experiences and try to compare them and say we're the same. We are not the same. We are not the same. Absolutely not. Um, we are the same as, as, you know, same species. We're all human. But our experiences are totally different. And it is kind of insensitive to try to align yourself with what black folks have gone through in this country. I know you've been called names and whatnot, but that, again, 
is if there if there isn't a history of white folks hanging your people from trees, then you can't. There's no conflating. There's no comparison. Uh, stop. Just stop. Like stop. And I'm waiting to see Quad come back. I mean, we saw her last week, but I want to see her more on the show. I know they said she ain't married to medicine. I don't care. Quad find you a doctor because I need you back. And you definitely bring a light to the show. That's just my opinion. Uh, let's see. Heavenly is, a, is something else though, ain't she? She gonna tell that woman, that's your job. You need to get them kids. She said, well, when we both work, she said, you work where you work. She said, I blog. Oh, it's a job. <laughs> Heavenly, stop it. I mean, yes, this is a job. I have to do these videos. It's a job. No, I'm not getting paid for it. Don't nobody give me nothing. Don't they give me nothing. But it is a job if I have to do it. And people, some people look for my videos, like a few people in the world. Not a whole lot. It's okay. I ain't building. I ain't building. So, yeah, that shade, it was kind of personal. But I was like, I feel you, honey. Mm-hmm. But we're, let her worry about her situation and you worry about yours. But it looks like she's about to run her husband into the ground, just like Toya did, trying to be extra. Her mama walking around the house talking about, nah, the guests need a balcony, too. You gonna pay for it? Ma, you gonna pay for it, huh? You paying for it? Because blogging ain't quite paying for it. <laughs> Well, her husband said the dream house has turned into a nightmare. And I think she needs to really be aware of how she moves and speaks going forward. Because if the plan is going to be for her mother to come and stay with them, I don't think she'll be married very long. I really don't. I don't think she'll be married very long. Because I think the mother would definitely run him into the ground. That's just my opinion. And I hope she figures out a way to separate it or find a different plan for her mother when her, once her father passes. Because she's not going to like anything unless it's done exactly the way she wants it done. And I don't know how that's going to roll over with your husband. Oh, and let me also talk about Toya in the tub with her husband. I feel him. Because yes, baby, she got you looking all kind of soft at her. And I know you're not soft like that. I know you're not. You should definitely make her change the way she handles you. In public, and you need to give her an ultimatum. Like, she's told you to just be quiet. Stop talking in front of people. And that's to me, is like the ultimate disrespect. Like, you don't respect this man at all. You love him because he provides a lifestyle for you that you feel like makes you special. He is definitely walking around on eggshells, and he's the breadwinner. He's, he's everything. I don't understand... How happiness can come from that. But I mean, that's y'all's business or whatever. But I really feel like he deserves better. Someone that will treat him better. That will respect him. That he doesn't have to ask. Or have a conversation with. That's just my opinion. Because he provides a good life for his wife. But it seems to be never enough for her. I don't know. Those are just my opinions based off of what I see. Because I liked Toya, you know, a few seasons ago. When she was humble. I love that Toya, but this Toya is all about the labels, all about the money, all about this and that. And if it ain't if it ain't high class, it ain't me. You know, honey, you just came up off of bankruptcy. It's still on your credit report. It's still on your credit report. Judgments. It's, it's under court judgments. So stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll appreciate it. I'm sure a few others will appreciate it because there's more to you than your possessions, darling. And we need to hear about it. That's just my $5.02 because <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up right there. Peace.